What the hell is the Pinkerton? Well, J.J. Abrams recently signed a deal with WB. There was a little bit of a bidding war going on where different studios wanted to work with J.J. Abrams. Apple offered him $500 million, but he would exclusively have to work with them. So he ended up signing a deal with WB for $250 million. I know, that sucks. He had to give up $250 million and only walk away with a measly $250 million after that cut. But this deal allows him to produce work for other studios as well. So it's not an exclusive deal. Anyway, we've all been waiting with bated breath to see what's going to come from this deal. And the first film has been announced as something called The Pinkerton. Now, we don't know much about it. Deadline describes it as a supernatural revenge thriller in a Western setting. We also know that it's being written by Daniel Casey, who's probably best known for having done a rewrite on 10 Cloverfield Lane, another movie that came from Bad Robot, J.J. Abrams' production company. Daniel Casey is also a co-writer on the upcoming F9, the ninth movie in the Fast Saga. So, Alun, are you excited for this movie based on what little we know about it? Uh, yeah. I like 10 Cloverfield Lane. I like J.J. Abrams. I like the name The Pinkerton. <laughs> it is a great name. It's fun to say. Yeah. And I'll add to that. Uh, I love Westerns. I love revenge stories. I love revenge Westerns. And you can take just about any genre or any movie plot you throw the word supernatural in front of it, you've <laughs> just you just doubled my excitement for the movie. I'm with you. And, and by the way, so so what is Pinkerton? Pinkerton is actually a detective agency, formerly known as Pinkerton National Detective Agency, which was formed by a Scotsman named Alan Pinkerton in 1850. And yes, I am going to see how many times I could say Pinkerton before this video is done. So Alan Pinkerton formed this detective agency in 1850, and they were put on the map when they foiled the assassination attempt on Abraham Lincoln. Huh. I was, uh, that, I was going for some humor there. I was waiting for you to be like, what do you mean foiled the assassination attempt on Abraham Lincoln? He was huh. assassinated. Oh, uh, I thought you were saying this movie is going to be like an alternate history. No, no, this is not about the movie. This is about the real Pinkerton National oh. Detective Agency. <laughs> okay. So this is a fun fact. There was an assassination attempt on Abraham Lincoln, which the Pinkerton Detective Agency stopped. Now, there is some debate about whether or not that assassination attempt was real, but Alan Pinkerton or the, detect the detective agency claimed that there was a plot. We stopped it, and Abraham Lincoln and his folks must have believed them because they did go on to hire the Pinkerton detective agency as their personal security detail. And by the way, this detective agency was the largest private law enforcement agency at the height of its power. So we don't know for a fact that this movie is related to that detective agency. If it is, it's kind of funny because the movie's called The Pinkerton, which would be sort of an odd way to refer to a detective agency called Pinkerton. Where does the word the come into play? Any speculation, Alon? Um. My thought is maybe <laughs> it's a guy who works for the agency, and so people call him a Pinkerton. And then maybe he goes to work with somebody, and they're like, oh, yeah, that's the guy. He's, uh, he's the, the Pinkerton we hired. Makes sense. <laughs> All right, but you know J.J. Abrams loves the mystery box, right? He loves to keep us guessing. So that's the first mystery of this movie is where does that the come into play? And maybe I've cracked the code. <laughs> 